cakes, four cups of flour, one tablespoon baking pow powder, three three three, three fourths three fourths to, to one one to salt. one teaspoon of salt to one teaspoon of salt about one fourth cup one fourth cup shortening shortening I can one can a oh, one can coconut milk with thirteen point five fluid 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 um, bake at three hundred fifty degrees about twenty to twenty five minutes. Okay, we're gonna put our ingredients in Zion. Okay. Put those back. Put them in. Nope. Okay. No, that. Okay. Okay. That's our salt and bacon powder. Pour it in. Yeah, pour it in. Okay, put in the shortening. Get these out of our way, and now um, you can put in our. Um, go ahead, put that in. Put in our coconut milk. Nope, just pick the can up and pour it in. That's all you gotta do. All. <laughs> yep, make sure they're all in there. You can warm up the coconut milk to so make it more liquidy, so what it's you easier. Sorry. So you can get it out the can easier, and then we just start kneading. Okay, you can hold the camera. I do that. Okay. Oh. Hold it this way. Back up a little bit. <gasps> We're going to knead all this together. And we shouldn't need any more liquid. Just keep working it with your hands. And this is just so uh, my version. I don't know how everyone else does theirs. But I usually make this on a Saturday morning. Or sometimes on a Sunday morning. So I don't have time to do it during the week. Just keep working it. Um, also, um, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Mine's already beeped at me, so that told me it's ready. So. I'm gonna get through this and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, now we can take this out. Just brush. This is extra. Make sure your countertop or a needle board is clean. I washed mine down already. Just keep kneading it till. It's nice and smooth. These are okay.
Okay, so now this is how I do mine. You roll it out to like a log. That's too small to make a bottle for itself. Maybe this one. Okay. So move all the other ones to the side and then just like knead in it. I put all mine in a bowl. You can use your hands. We're making Johnny cakes. Okay. Uh-huh. For breakfast. So and um um what we're gonna eat with this is um make some eggs. Um I like avocado on mine. Some type of cheese if we have it. I didn't check to see if we have cheese. And a couple of slices of bacon. My camera girl here don't really like bacon. Uh, but my youngest and my oldest like their bacon. My two young, my two girls, I got two girls. They like Nutella on theirs. My youngest like either, um, she does, my youngest, um, my middle and my youngest are the two girls, my two girls. They both like Nutella, but just my youngest sometimes like honey on hers, um, butter on hers. I like mine just plain. So that's my oldest son. But you can use many different things and many different spreads that you like. Um, jams, jellies, preservatives, peanut butter if you choose. Okay, so I'll just show you one. So to get it in the shape we need, I just flatten like this. Just a quick little flat. And do our pretty little decoration. I Never really asked my mom why we did that, but I think it's just for decoration. And I don't think I've, growing up, I've never seen um, a Johnny Cake without it. It's not, at least, it's not Johnny Cakes to me if it doesn't have the little fork pricks on the top. I don't think it helps the bacon or anything. It's just for decoration. I'll show you what I'm going to bake it on here in a second. So, I just have my, um, my bacon dish here. Um, ungreased. And you would just set it. I'll try to get it a little closer here in a second. You just set it. Just a couple, not even, just a couple inches apart. Like that. And you would just keep going. And then we'll put this in the oven um, for about 20, 25 minutes. I'll let you know at the end uh, for 350 um, in about the middle rack, okay? So when the finished product is done, I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like.